Phantoms win against the Bratnell Bees 4-2. I've got James Farr and Corey McEwen. Uh, James, let's talk about tonight. Never in doubt, really. Uh, <laughs> we weren't sure there going into the second period. Um, I think they had the better of us in the second. Um, for you know, one reason or another, it's sometimes you know it's the way. It's not that we didn't work hard, but it's sometimes working smart, working for each other. Um, I think defensively, our defence and our goaltender had a terrific game tonight, and I think there were times in the second period that perhaps forwards could have done a little bit of a better job um, defensively to help the D out there, but. You know, Bratnell are a similar sort of team to Basingstoke last season in terms of the way they play. Um, obviously, they got some some guys obviously from the team last year, but you know that they're never ever going to let off. We, you know, we could have been five six nil up, um, and, and they just still kept coming at us in the same same way, trying to trying to draw penalties and everything else. So it was a, it was a chippy sort of game, um, scrappy at times. Um, you know, we had to really fight for it, but. Um, never in doubt, no, we always believe we're going to go on and win. Um, we know that we've got the character to, to always not pull one out of the bag, but uh, continue working for 60 minutes. Um, but, you know, we did have to show that character again tonight. And, you know, when we do, we do, we, we have success. Corey, actually talking about tonight's game, uh, Doug Shepard goes from Basingstoke and takes half a dozen players with him. There's some of the old guard, like James Galazian, spearing there and uh, one or two others. Uh, but taking that know-how is important. They attack very high. They take with lots of forechecking and lots of pressure. Uh, how difficult is it to play against that for, for 60 minutes? Um, I thought we did pretty a pretty good job like taking the pressure. But I don't know... Um, we weren't on our best tonight, I'd say, but we always managed to get the win. Well, we've certainly won 13 consecutively, and that's pleasing. But I think shepard has uh, he's got a game plan against Slava. Yeah, I think he's got a game plan against a lot of people. Uh, he's a good coach. Slava's a good coach, and the top coaches in the league you know, know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, so far we've played them twice, won twice this season. So um, we're, we're ahead in coaching terms and playing terms at the moment. But it's a long season. Uh, it's a good position that we put ourselves in after the win tonight. Um, and again, we have to show the character and the fight, as I said um, before. So even, you know, in times of the game when, when they've, they've got the better of us and, and the possession and attacking, um, we do such a good job of, of compacting us five and, and working together and fighting through, you know, whatever they've got to throw at us. Um, as Corey said, they did have a lot of the puck and they probably had the better of the second period, especially. But, uh, you know, we didn't give them breakaways. We didn't give them two on ones and stuff like that. You know, the chances they had to fight for as well. So, you know, when momentum swing one way or another, you've got to make sure that when, when the momentum isn't with us, that you still limit the other team. And we did especially defence, a good job of that tonight. I thought character was shown at the start of the third period. The, 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 the power play we started on, I think, um, or there was certainly lots of open ice at the start, but we, we didn't capitalise on. But then the second power play and, and Paddy's goal, maybe a little bit controversial, but that eight or nine minutes at the start of the third really took the, took the game. Yeah, we started the period 4-4 four and, four, um, and the guys that went 4-4 four four battled. They used the extra ice and, you know, they put the puck in the corners a couple of times. I thought, oh, we're not going to create much out of this and all of a sudden they did. Um, that's the character of the fight that you mentioned before and that intensity and the, the willingness to go through whatever it, it takes maybe to get the puck to the net to, to create a shot, to make some space for someone. So, um, as you said, that was key. The momentum went with us and, you know, we managed to ride that for long enough to, to take the advantage and then um, see it home. Corey, just a word about Friday night, the uh, three-all draw in Swindon. Um, that, that's a great road win and uh, particularly great defence when it's six on four, I think it was, in the last minute. Yeah, like they came out really hard in that building and we just, we did what it took that night to come out with a win. With a, uh, yeah, they came out hard and we just, we couldn't do much about it, but we defended really well that game and when we had our chances, we put the puck in the net, so crucial goal from Padalek late on and, and obviously we take the, the tie and look forward to a, a final against uh, Sheffield. Uh, is it hard now to, uh, I've talked to you guys before about it being the shortest route to Silver, well, well we're in the final, how hard now to focus on league games when there's a final looming? Um, I think nothing really changes, like when we have a game we all know in the dressing room we need to show up that night, it doesn't matter if it's a league game or a championship, obviously when we do play Sheffield in the final, like we're going to be really prepared and Slava's going to prepare us for that. One last word, James, uh, for this evening. I thought the, uh, the atmosphere in here was, was great tonight, a big, a big crowd for a Sunday night game, uh, which, is, which is crucial for the Phantoms. Uh, makes a big difference, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, I think when we came on for warm-up, this is the loudest cheer we've had for warm-up um, for a long time. It was, that was, it was good to know. And even for a warm-up, you know, the guys get moving. Um, we needed to have a good warm-up because the day off yesterday, we needed to get our legs going. And I think we started the game well um, in the first period and, and the crowd make a massive difference to that, you know, from the start of the game to the finish. 
Um, they were there, we knew where they were there, they were making a lot of noise. Just the celebrations when we score, you know, it, the place erupts and uh, it's such a great feeling, you know, it's the sort of feeling that gives you goosebumps and makes you want to push on and, and do more and hopefully bring the club success, you know, in the near future because, you know, if that's the, the noise level going to be tonight, hopefully uh, in the near future we'll, we'll have an even louder building. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next weekend.